Good morning, Fisher friends, and welcome to the Fisher Morning Announcements with me, Ms. Henley. I am so glad you're here today, and let's all stand and join me for the U.S. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for our tiger pledge. <laughs> Today I will try my best, imagine my possibilities, and give respect. I will be eager to learn, realize my worth, and smile every day. And now our guidelines for success go like this. Focus. Focus on the positive, intent, practice positive intent, safety, keep it safe, helpfulness, be helpful to others, encouragement, you can do it, and respect, show respect to others and myself. And now for a moment of silence. Okay, guys. Yes, I don't have a guitar again today. I should have one tomorrow, and I know you guys are going to be glad to hear me play the guitar again, but we're still going to work on our sign language while we have this little break from my guitar, and um, and I hope you all join me and, and help me with the song as we sing our school family song. Here we go. You are my family, my school family. I feel happy when you are here. I hope you know, friends, how much I love you. When we're apart, I'll keep you near. En español, familia somos en la escuela. Estoy feliz cuando están aquí. Quiero decirles cuánto los quiero cuando no están. Los llevo aquí. All right. I bet you're getting it, aren't you? Now it's time to wish well. So you're going to look around your classroom and see who in your school family is not here today. Let's put them in our heart and let's wish them well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. And I forgot to do the Spanish, so let's sing the Spanish part. Te deseamos lo mejor, te deseamos lo mejor. Todo del día de hoy, te deseamos lo mejor. And say their names and send out all your love and well wishes. Okay, guys. Now it's time to take a big deep breath. So let's do the drain because I feel like we neglect the drain all the time. So what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze your hands, squeeze your shoulders up to your ears, tighten up your body, and then just release it as you breathe out. So here we go. Breathe in and squeeze. And relax. Just let it all drain out. Breathing in. And relax. And one more time. Breathe in. And relax. Okay, my friends. Now let's take a look at the feelings chart. And you decide how you're feeling today. Look inside your body. Notice the emotions. Notice your body sensations. What kind of feeling is it that you're having in your body? Now let's say to ourselves, I am safe. And take a breath. I am calm. And I can handle this. Okay, my friends. So today we're going to talk a little bit about using the restroom at Fisher Elementary. And what are the procedures and what are the rules right now during COVID-19? Because we do have to stay very vigilant no matter how you how tired we are of all this, 
no matter how tired we are of our mask, no matter how tired we are of keeping distance and not hugging and doing all these new things that we're doing, we have to keep it on doing this until we have permission from the CDC to say, okay, we can stop all this and go back to life as normal. And we reason the reason why we want to do this is so that we can stay at school because if everybody starts getting sick, they're going to send us home. And that is boring. And we learn so much better when we're here with our teachers and we have more fun when we're with our friends. And I've learned to appreciate it so much more. And I know you have too. So let's be very careful every day and very vigilant. That means you're watching very closely what you're doing at all times. Okay, so let's look at our procedures for going to the restroom. So, at the, in the restrooms right now, because we're just about at 50% of capacity in the school building, we're going to take our restrooms down to 50% capacity. So, on each door, you're going to see a number. And whatever that number is, is how many students can go in that restroom at a time. Teachers, if you're sending kids down the hallway, you need to remind them to monitor that because I know kids are going in and out of the restrooms all the time, especially the little ones, and they need to know how to be safe. Yes, I know kids don't get as sick as adults, but they do spread it, and they can shut down our school if they get the coronavirus and there are too many people get it. So we need to be very careful and make sure that we're watching the capacity of our restrooms and that we're monitoring the students that go in. How many students can be in a restroom run safely? Four. Every restroom is different. I put four over here and I read that first before I read the next sentence. Oops. So every restroom is different. So I know in this hallway, um, first grade hallway, right next to the uh, music rooms, it's four. Around the corner in the boys' restroom, I believe it's up to five. And it's just the setup of any restroom depends on how many people can go in at once. Please observe those uh, requirements, teachers and, and students. And when you go into the restroom, let's make sure that you are going to the restroom. You're going to the restroom, you're doing your business. So you check the restroom for COVID capacity, look for the number on the door, you enter the restroom quietly. You enter the stall to use the restroom. You don't waste toilet paper. You don't throw it on the floor. You put the toilet paper in the toilet and then you flush it. Listen very carefully. Mr. Robertson, if you're in the building, you need to please make your way to the library if you have there already. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. So you take the toilet paper that you use, you put it in the toilet in the toilet, and then you flush it. You have on your mask, you don't take it off in the restroom, and don't touch your face after you've flush the toilet. Go straight to the sink. Now some of the sinks are just the kind that you press and they just don't go automatically. But some of the sinks you have to raise it and lower it or you have to turn it. So there's different types of sinks around our school. If you have to raise it, make sure that um, when you go to, after you've washed your hands, that you use your elbow to put it down, okay? You don't touch it again with your hands because there's maybe some germs on that handle. So use your elbow to turn it down because you can't put your elbow in your eye, right? Or you can't put it in your nose or your mouth. So you, that's far enough away from you and from your face that it's okay to use your elbow. But if you have it on your hands, you're just putting germs right back onto your hands. So let's start from the beginning of hand washing procedures. You turn on your sink, you wet your hands, you get a pump or two of soap and you scrub, 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 and you rub, 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 and you go in between your fingers and try to get under your fingernails. If your fingernails are long, guys, I saw some people with some really long fingernails yesterday. It's time to cut those fingernails because underneath those fingernails are dirty, dirty germs, especially with you guys, with you children, because you know, you're out playing in the dirt. You're doing things that, um, Adults don't do. Adults are very careful with their fingernails. You guys need to keep those fingernails clipped. Keep them short so that germs don't get, don't stay underneath your fingernails. Okay. I keep mine short because I play a guitar and I play the piano and you don't want to hear that sound. But back to this, keep your fingernails clean, keep them short 
and scrub your hands really good. Then you rinse. You rinse your hands and then again, look at the girl on the um, picture. She's using her elbow to turn off the water. That's when you have to turn off water. The ones in the, some of the restrooms just goes off automatically. You are going to have to crank so, to get your paper towel. So remember that you're going to wipe off your hands really, really good after you do that. And then throw your um, paper towel in the trash can. I'm missing a slide. Oh my goodness. This is um, a link. If you look on your uh, Google Drive teachers, you have a link to a song that tells you about going to the restroom. Now, oh, there it is. It got, everything got switched around somehow. When you finish using your toilet, pa your, uh, not toilet paper, your paper towel. When you get there using your paper towel, make sure you put it in the trash, into the trash can. If it falls on the floor, if you're not being vigilant, somebody else is going to have to come pick that up. They're getting germs on their hands when they have to pick up after you, and they're going to go wash their hands again, or you're making extra work for other people like uh, our custodian, Miss Maria. So let's be careful and make sure that when we throw away our paper towel, it goes in to the trash can. Okay, my friends, that is how you stay safe in the restroom all around the building and everything you do. Remember to wash your hands as much as possible. Stay six feet apart from other people. Three to six feet is our goal here at Fisher. Keep your hands off your face and always, always wear your mask when you're going out with people who are not in your family. So when you're at school, make sure you have it covering your nose. And for the most part, do your very best not to touch the fabric, okay? There are ways not to touch it, and I've shown you that in videos. And if you don't remember how, you can go to my YouTube channel and select the video about masks. Now, I want you always to remember, guys, it's the teacher's job to keep it safe. It's my job to help keep it safe. So let's all say it together. It's the teacher's job to keep it safe. It's my job to help keep it safe. So make it a great, a safe tiger day. Now we have some news today. Our news today is that on next Monday, on November 16th, from 8.30 to 9.30, it says the wrong time here, but it's 8.30 to 9.30, um, it is our Heroes drive through Breakfast. And Heroes are veterans because that is Veterans Day, and veterans are people who have served in the military and they are still living and uh, they may have been retired or they may be off duty, but they are our veterans. Okay. And um, other essential workers are that we're inviting because it's Heroes Day. We're not focusing only on veterans, but we're going to focus on essential workers, people like um, policemen and firemen and ambulance drivers and doctors and nurses. So if your mom and dad is a doctor or a nurse or works at a hospital or your mom and dad were in the Army, the Air Force or the Marines or whatever else there is out there, make sure you let them know so that they can come drive through and get their special treat. And also that same week is college week. And you know what? I can't see without my glasses and I kept them off because I have a new light because y'all said you couldn't see my face. So let me see here. College spirit days are from November 16th to 20th. And that's the first day. That is the first day is Heroes Day. Um, Monday is your future starts here at Fisher. And you're going to wear your Fisher t-shirt. Tuesday, your your future is bright, so wear your sunglasses in bright colors. Wednesday is dress for success, so you can wear a nice outfit to school, like you're going on an interview, so boys can wear ties and jackets, and girls can wear dresses and nice shoes, and that is what we're going to celebrate that day. On Thursday is College Spirit Day, so any college church you might have, whether it's the University of Houston or the University of Arkansas, then wear your t-shirt. And on Friday, Future Self Friday, it's career dress up day. I want to see you guys dressed up as astronauts and teachers and policemen and firefighters. Whatever it is that you would like to do when you grow up, 
dress up like that and it's going to be a great day. We'll see what all we get when in all the different careers that we see on that Friday. Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. So you know what to do. Let's stand up and clap your hands and stomp your feet. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Give a wave and wink your eye. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Applaudir. Peace of compañía. I can't see adios amis amigos. I can't see adios amis amigos. Es tiempo de decir adios. Es tiempo de decir adios. I can't see adios amis amigos. Adios amigos. Goodbye friends. And always remember, it's a great day to be a a tiger. Bye.